I have mixed feelings. There is a, a, a feeling of uh, great satisfaction that at last, at last, after 15 years and the fourth attempt, the people of Nyeri have uh, seen it fit to entrust me uh, with their representation as a member of parliament. There's also a feeling of uh, bittersweet joy. Uh, there's a bit of nostalgia that it has taken this long to get to this point. But I, I choose not to focus on what is behind, but choose uh, to focus on the task ahead. The first task is to uh, uh, appeal to all Nyerians that the elections are over. We now need to rally together to better our constituency. I will be the member of parliament for every resident of Nyeri town constituency. I will serve everybody without fear or favor. And to be able to begin with a clean heart and on a clean slate, there are two young men who are in court uh, facing attempted murder charges after attacking me uh, during the campaigns. At the next mention of their court case, I'm going to withdraw my complaint because I would like Nyerians to start with a single-minded purpose of unity so that we can be able to get together. And just like the, the, the words of the of the of the of the our Lord's prayer that we play that forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. I want to declare today before Nyerians that I have uh, forgiven both Mark Ngojiri and, and Daniel Wabogo. Uh, Mark Gojiri, for example, has a young, a young boy who is in Form 1 at, at Nyeri High School. And uh, Mark is unemployed. Uh, and, and, and I think this ought to be a big lesson for political leaders. Please let us not use the unemployed youth to carry out the dirty jobs that we cannot use our own children to participate in. Uh, the second element is, uh, is uh, my way of extending the olive branch for those who voted for others. It is their right, it is their choice, but the next elections are five years from now. Please let us get together. I have, uh, I have committed to collaborative leadership, working together to bring synergy to solving the problems that uh, face our people in the constituency, in the county, and indeed across the nation.